Well, I just thought I'd look at the technicals tonight. It doesn't look too good, actually. Um, market looks quite weak for some reason. Um, if we have a look at Bitcoin, basically uh, support is around this 13554. Uh, it looks like it's it's breaking down low. So if it does break the support here, just around here, this could potentially move down to the next level of 11,798. So just this here, so really, you know, 12,944, 1,300, something like that, 13,000, I should say. If we look at the daily, um, let's have a quick look at the daily. Uh, again, it is moving down. You have got a second level of support around 12,455. So this has gone red. Moving averages look like they're moving down. I must fix this chart actually. This is still um, flatlining here. Volumes come down. So looks like I can get down to short term 12,349, something like that. Let's have a good Ethereum. Ethereum has gone up a lot in the last couple of days, so it doesn't surprise me if it starts to come off. The daily looks like it can come back a bit, maybe potentially down to 11.40. I've actually got a sell on Ethereum at the moment, so I've sold some Ethereum. This might be starting to run down. As you can see, this is starting to run down. Um, let's just have a look at the four alley on that. I'd go off the four alley charts. Uh, Ethereum looks like um, got a double top here, hit a resistance up here around 1400, is starting to come down. So it looks like it can get down to 1255, uh, starting to turn over, and this is starting to turn over. So I do have a sell on Ethereum at the moment. Litecoin hasn't been a lot of interest in Litecoin. Just posted an article in the chat line about the death of Litecoin, so which is an interesting article. Um, I think since Charlie sold his. Uh, Litecoin, it's been looking a bit weak. Um, the four alley looks like it's starting to come down. It looks like you can easily get to two, two, three. Let's check out the uh, the daily on that one as well. Just trying to make this quicker than normal. Daily looks like it can come down to that uh, two, two, seven, something like this. This is still turned over the moving average. It still looks quite weak to me. So be careful of Litecoin. It doesn't look that great to me. Um, look, let's put Ethereum Classic. That has been doing really well lately. I just noticed that was up. Um, Ethereum Classic. What have we got? ETC USD. Uh, it does look good, good on the daily, actually. Has gone up. Big buy on this. Um, looks like it's starting to come back a bit, maybe to 40.84. Let's check out the full hourly on that. Uh, it can probably come back to around that 39. Uh, 90 level on that support level, so has done really well. Ethereum, I have to say. Let's check out check out Neo USD, and Neo is also done well as Ethereum. But I think these like stocks like Ethereum, Neo for example, will start to come down as well. Um, you know they've done a lot of work and they've gone up quite a bit. So let's check that out as well. Neo, <coughs> Neo is holding up alright actually. Support on that is um, 131.625 for the 4 hourly. Let's check the daily on that. Actually looks quite good now. Could potentially come back on the daily. It is very overextended. Could potentially come back to maybe 117 if it starts to sell down. So it does look pretty overextended. Let's check out Dash USD. Some of the main ones I trade. Oops. Dash USD. Got a big sell on Dash here, big sell up there. Uh, the highs are getting lower, so that looks quite negative to me uh, on the daily. This is red, red moving averages moved down, accumulation index and histogram of red. I'd be selling Dash, it looks quite negative on the charts actually, very different chart to Neo. Um, very tight range here, just at the moment, uh, 949 to around 11.48, so it looks a bit like a sold to me dash. Let's check out Monaro. Oops, it's in our USD. Oops, you moved too fast for this, clearly. Ah, USD. Monaro's got a very tight range on it as well, 4.42 to 380 on the 4 hourly. Um, doesn't look as bad as Dash. Doesn't look like it'll come down as much, but Dash didn't look very good technically to me at all. Um, could potentially on the daily come down to this level, 319, something like that. Moving averages have crossed, so just be careful. 
on these two. They don't look very good. Let's check out EOS. Uh, that's gone up a lot lately. And um, again, that's sort of in competition with uh, Ethereum as well. But I think it's it's way overextended on the buy side. And I think it should start coming down. Uh, got up to 1888. I mean, this is a project that hasn't even really developed. It's been in ICO for about, you know, 365 days. I'm not quite, under, I don't quite understand that or why. But um, to me, it just looks so extended on the chart. Um, I've actually got to sell on EOS. I've actually short EOS. Um, I think I shorted around $15 or something or other. And that looks potentially like it can get down to 12.51 to me on the daily. But check out the four hours, four hours on EOS. I actually saw the sell up here. But I didn't get into it about, until about 15.50. Uh, we've got the parabolic cell here. Again, moving down, the price action is red. This is turning over and this is turning red. So to me, that looks quite bearish. That could potentially move down to 13.17, uh, something like that. So I don't like um, EOS at the moment. SAN is another one. Went up on, I couldn't find anything fundamental for this to go up from 25 cents right up to about $8 which, you know, they've got nothing behind them. I just couldn't understand it. But anyway, checking out the full hourly, really, really been sold down heavily. Um, big move down here from literally $7 down to $5.03. Looks quite bearish here. It looks like it can go further to me, maybe even back down to three eighty three. I think this coin is so expensive and it shouldn't be up here. I'd still be selling it down here. This has gone negative, negative. Big sell on this. Um, the daily, let's check out the daily on this. I'd still be selling this. Interesting that it's broken, uh, well, sorry, it, it bounced up the support of 452, 454. So, but I still think if that breaks around that 452, uh, this could look quite ag ugly. Um, absolutely. Let's have a look at Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash on the daily. Doesn't look too bad. It's got that rounded feature, so you might get a bit of uh, move on that. This is starting to move up a bit. Let's check out the four hourly on that. Not doing a lot actually. It's got a very tight range from uh, two eight three one to around two two six three. So not doing a lot at all at the moment. Um, let's have a look at Stella. I'm very interested in picking up some Stella. Um, I think I like it, but I just want to I want to do some fundamental analysis on it as well uh, before I actually trade it. Uh, let's just have a quick squiz of that on the technicals. Looks like it can come down uh, potentially, possibly to this line here, maybe 57, maybe even potentially um, 40, 40, 47 cents. You've got a parabolic cell here. This is starting to move down. This is starting to move down. So it looks like it can go down further in the short term. The whole market. Looks like it wants to come down, clearly. Got a sell here. Could move down to this level, 55. This is moving down on the histogram. This is red. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're just going to have to wait at the moment, I think. It looks like this market wants to come down. Let's check out ADA against Tether. Yeah, ADA doesn't look too good either. Um, on the daily, could potentially get back down to the 73 cents. Still got the parabolic sell. Looks quite yucky. Let's check out the four alley. Um, looks like it's going back to 0 0.3870 to me at the moment. Okay, let's just quickly have a look at Tron. I think that's all I'll look at at the moment. Oh, and I'll look at Ripple as well. Uh, what's Tron on this? T R. Oh, it's okay. It's that. Okay, I'll look at it against Ethereum. Actually, yeah, flat line. So, gosh, that's really, really underperformed Ethereum. Probably time to buy Tron and sell Ethereum. I think Ethereum uh, has had a huge run, and I think it's time to give some back. So I'd probably start to think about buying Tron um, maybe around this level, 0 0.0000510. Buying Ethereum, uh, sorry, buying Tron and selling Ethereum. I think that's the trade that I'd be looking at at the moment. Um, I'll just leave it that. Oh, actually, I'll just look at Verge. Wait a minute. Um, Verge as well. Against, uh, oh, you will look at against, uh, actually, let's look at it against Tether. Oh, that doesn't look too good at all. That could potentially go down to point 
1265 on the daily, on the four hourly. Probably got about the same story. Okay, looks like I can go back to its lows of 0.132. Okay, that's all I'll look at today. Um, hope you're having a good night and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Oh, I know you forgot. I also want to look at Ripple. So let's just have a quick look at Ripple. It hasn't looked very good to me either, by the way. Uh, just in case the whole market is selling off. So um, what do we got? Ripple. Here we go. Let's go the four hour. Uh, golly, I'd really like to see it hold this level here. Um, what do we got? 483. Doesn't look that great. Um, I'd like to see it hold the 483 on the four hourly. Let's check out the daily. On the daily, it does look like I can get back to 155. So I have got a parabolic soul on that. Looks like I can get back to 155 where I'd definitely be buying it. Uh, this is coming down. Hasn't gone red yet, but it looks like it'd probably go a bit lower. So yeah, the whole market doesn't look very good at the moment. Anyway, I hope you're well and we'll talk soon.